Hey guys, welcome back to Twitchy Plays Kerbal Space Program, where we are still mucking around in sandbox mode. Last time I'd realised that, once again, I cannot fly planes. Not just space planes this time, I just cannot fly planes. So I've decided to go off and do something else. So, I did really, really badly at space planes. Let's just try and get a rocket up, shall we? Um, I don't know, we, I like this. Um, there's going to be some heat shield. Where do you reckon the heat shielding's at? Um, I reckon somewhere... God, they don't make it easy to find. I literally cannot. Is that a heat shield? No. Oh, of course. You keep your heat shields in your aerodynamics, you know, with all the plane parts. Like, what? Where's my rocket part? I would have put it more in utilities. But, okay, there we go. That's a large heat shield. We want a heat shield, right? Uh, then how do we get stuff further on here? Okay, in the days of old 0 0.9 and, like, before, this should have got us up. Hang about. What's the engineer going? Electric charge required but not generated. Let's deal with that. Um, yeah, this should actually get ourselves up into orbit somehow. Um, I hope. I hope anyway. We didn't quite want that. We want one more? Yeah, let's go one more. Okay, that should work, right? Let's load. Jebediah once again offering himself up as sacrifice. I think it's very brave of him, but also a little bit stupid. Let's go. Wow! Look at those smoke particles. Oh, that's amazing. That's good. Right, we're, we're going a bit fast, but that's all right. I mean, look how fast we are going. What's the white nav ball about? Is it... I don't know. Oh, it's oh the nav ball's like semi-transparent now. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, uh, I'm getting some serious sort of air effects here, but I think I think this is good. Um, <laughs> going very fast. My God. I wonder. I wonder what we're going to break by doing this. But I reckon. Oh wow. Uh, no, kill the engines. We d we don't want to do that. Wow, what's going on here? We want to burn dust. Go, 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 go. You can make it. It's not going to make it, is it? It's not going to make it. Well, this is very interesting. I wasn't expecting to uh, flip out like that. Not even a, a little bit, to be honest. Let's just carry on like this, and hopefully we can get into some sort of... Uh, some sort of gravity... Look at that engine fucking swivel. It's, it's mad, man. It's mad. Okay, let's try and do ourselves this way. So we should actually be up out of the atmosphere now. Uh, that was by no means an optimal flight path. I, I don't know what would have been an optimal flight path. And once again, I have forgotten to include anything in, like, resembling lights, which is generally all right, but we're kind of pointed towards the sun right now, which is not great. Uh, let's hopefully leave this here and have a look over here. Oh, my God, we're, we're going up so high. We're just going so high, but this should be fine. Um, let's, let's just burn it forwards a couple, of, a couple of minutes or so. Always got the worry about, like... Do I wait until we're up there? Do I just carry on letting it climb? Do I not? Oh look, we're we're above the atmosphere. Let's let's just wait for this to to circularize out. Uh, not circularize out to level off. Something like that. That looks good. Go. Just want to like be, oh, look at that. Gonna have to do something about this, aren't we? Yeah. So well, that's only because I'm using my prograde, right? If we just do that, it's fine. But I like pointing towards my prograde quite a lot. Uh, I'm not sure. Wow, that gimbal is quite quite hectic. I'm just using my, my keys here to change it. It's, that's a lot. Oh, well. Uh, is it me, or do things look a bit hazier up here than last time? Uh, I'm fairly sure they do. I'm fairly sure they do. Oh, boom. I'm going to drop that. Oh, wow. Look at the orbit. Well, orbit has been... Well, it's not been completely achieved yet, but I, I'm fairly sure we're going to make it. I don't, I don't think we're not going to. Uh, let's go all the way up to Apple Apps. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some time, but these things always do. Jeb is, of course... Oh, we overshot a little bit. Jeb is, of course, absolutely loving it. He doesn't, he doesn't seem to actually be uh, overly impressed, to be fair. He, he looks a little bit non -plot. I mean, look at his face there. Stupid Jeb. Sure. Doesn't he realise he's the first guy in space on this save? I mean, what... Well, he just doesn't. He doesn't appreciate everything he's got. There's like people not aware of the privilege that they have. Hey, eh? people not aware of the privilege they have. Okay, let's try and drop this down. I don't know somewhere about there and there. Maybe that that looks about right to me. Does that look right to you guys? Looks all right. Okay, so there should be a nice little warp two feature. Yeah, how do we how do we make that happen on the maneuver node? Can we? I want to warp to the maneuver node. Can we do that? Is that a thing? I saw the warp to here point on the. Look, if we do warp to next maneuver, there we go. Um, so you've got to kind of click just on the the track. Yeah, look, there we go. Okay, that's fine. The track, the orbit, the orbital rail. We all know what I mean, right? Hopefully, uh, less than a less than a little bit. Uh, that, less than a minute there. 
that's interesting that's interesting okay we're gonna bring our power apps down to about there and that should hopefully put us back home and I cannot see anything can you see anything this is rubbish so we're falling over the top of the mountains watching that beautiful sunrise that that is definitely the way to go um, we're gonna see what these heat shields are like whether there's like an upper limit to it whether we're gonna end up landing with more left I mean we've, uh, we're only coming from a fairly low orbit to be honest I'm halfway expecting us to get through with this engine still in well engine fuel tank whatever still intact um, ooh press the wrong button so here we go we we should be coming in quite hot uh i'm not sure what this is going to oh oh of course i'm sped up aren't i i'm not sure how this reacts is there a heating um heating gauge do we get get to see how hot it is i'm not i'm not i'm not sure here um we seem to be coming in all right though i don't think we're actually going to need to do this but i'm going to do that anyway boom wow look at that do we have an ablation scale up here there we go ablator that's nice that's nice that's very nice actually i quite I quite like that um i wonder what happens when it fully burns down well obviously it just disappears but i'd like to know what happens to this particular part here does it like disappear in a a, a flurry of explosions is this something we're gonna have to do should we uh mount one of these on the front of a rocket yeah i think i think we should and then go sideways uh, yeah that, that that sounds sounds like a plan oh 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 we're spinning sideways why are we spinning wow look at those Look at those little circles there going back. That's amazing. Okay, we didn't quite make it to even the uh, the desert over there, but uh, well, this is this is good. This is good. Let's kind of speed it up so we can come in for a crash landing in the ocean, and then we will think about how we can try and break up these um, heat shields. Ah, wobbly wobbly thing, isn't it? Wobbly thing. Whoa! Wow, that was hectic. Shit, that was not hectic. Quite violent. That was violent. The electric charge is really taking a bit of a beating, but that should be all right. And yeah, just waiting to touch down now. Let's just watch that first touchdown. Pow, there we go. We're in the ocean. Yay. <laughs> right, so this should uh, helpfully, uh, hopefully help us find out what happens when this thing loses its heat shield. Go. Oh, we're gonna smash into the floor. More up. Whoops. Let's try that again, but I'm gonna pull up immediately this time. Wow, look at the uh, the smoke blow out. That's, that's cool. Okay, so we're going to go as fast as we can this way, right? Hopefully we can get some good forward forward velocity going. Uh, I'm thinking we kind of want to be down as deep as we can into the uh, atmosphere, else how are we going to get this uh, heat, heating on the go? Uh, let's just kind of spin this around this way. Starting to think that maybe some wings would have been useful, but yeah, those wings would have got ripped off as well. Uh, I don't think we're going to build up any ablation that, um heat at the moment we've just got to try and keep it pointed at our prograde vector in fact let's do that no it, it's full on not having it and we've got a backflip so maybe maybe just maybe the new aerodynamic model means that we need to put some wings on the back because obviously like the engine is heavier than the the front edge and stuff like this i, I, I don't know i'm not an aerodynamics expert as some of you may have uh, discovered by now or at least realized oh my god what's going on here i can't pull up i cannot pull up Ah! Well, that was interesting. Maybe this angle is the one we need to take. I, I literally don't know. I do not know. Let's just keep going this way and see what happens. So, this should do us some good, I think. We've finally got some sort of stable flight on the go. And, yeah, starting to build up some heat. Uh, hopefully, it'll stay that way for a little while. We're not building up any ablation uh, heat. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what to call this. Uh, the, like, the, the level of heat that starts, like, ablating away. I mean, is it the ablatonator? A blatinator. Yeah, I hope so. Well, we are halfway through our fuel and still no heat damage, which is uh, a little bit annoying for me. I might actually have to strap on some extra solid boosters or something just to get some real heat going from this. Um, in fact, I'm not, I didn't really check out which, where gave the best, which gave the highest thrust. Maybe we need to put a big engine on the bottom of this. A big engine on the bottom. Okay, so we're starting to build up enough heat now to actually cause some uh, heating damage. We're going to lose these these wings back here. I can I can feel it already. There is no way. Oh, hello, state normal. Deploy. Oh, no, normal. <laughs> that, that was weird. Oh, there go my wings. I I knew that was happening. Oh, and there goes any control I had. That's a little bit annoying, actually. Let's call it a lot annoying. Let's just try launching the other way. <laughs> Whoops. I wonder what I'm aiming for. 
I don't know, this may or may not work. I feel like it's not gonna work. I feel like it's not gonna work. Why won't this work? <laughs> Ever so slightly changed my angle of attack here. This uh, should hopefully do a little bit better. Uh, I'm not expecting great things, to be honest. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, it likes to nosedive. It really likes to nosedive. In we go. Oh. There's gotta be an actual, actual collision here somewhere. I'm sure that we can do this. Let's try it. That's much better. And 120s. Oh, quick, go smash into it again. Well, that's uh, a turn up for the books. The real question is what's going to explode first, the fuel tank or the uh, wings? This might be sacrilege to say at this point, but I think I prefer the old aerodynamics model. So let's just see if we can go straight up, eh? That, that should help. I've added some uh, solid boosters here to try and get some early speed in. Hopefully we can get enough to get that uh, ablation damage going, but nah, it looks like already it's not the, the one to go for. Very difficult to control. So it was at this point of the game that I decided that I really wanted to try and just like burn this ablative cover off the front of this rocket here. So I knew we weren't going to do it with the current setup. So I thought we would bust out the cheats menu, get on some of the infinite fuel and try and use some of my orbital knowledge to get us going as fast as I possibly could, as low as we possibly could. So first thing I did was set myself up to go out for an uh, uh, escape trajectory outside of the Kerbin sphere of influence. I then burnt down for all I was worth, so we could keep that forward velocity going, but hopefully have our periapsis going down really quite low. Uh, and indeed, 30 odd kilometers was quite low. The problem I had, of course, was that my wings were gonna blow off. And as soon as those wings blew off, I, I just kind of lost control. Uh, flailing around, as you do when you've got no control, I was like, well, what are we gonna do, eh? What are we gonna do? We've managed to burn up quite a lot of heat, but still not actually do any damage to the front of this vehicle. So. How are we going to turn around? Well, of course, we're going to have to be smart about it. We can't just turn literally round. I did try that quite a few times. So I thought, let's fire up our engines to full, um, point it in the direction it wants to go, and then try and point in other directions. So at this point, I've gone ragely. And now that we made that, that small like quarter turn, it actually works quite well. And I'm getting quite a lot of speed and a lower periaps, which, which is nice, really. Uh, and I'm just going to carry on burning down like this. I think, I think this is kind of close enough. And indeed, it kind of pushes me down into the surface. We can see that land over there that I'm aiming for. Point prograde so we can get as much burning as possible and just leave this engine firing. So it is the main force directing me unfortunately it's still not enough and before we even go halfway through our heat shield we flip round and the engine starts taking all the damage which uh you know pretty cool crash so in summary it's easier to go up than it is to go sideways and don't ever try and blow up one of those heat shields you ain't gonna do it but maybe the engines are better for coming down first than the heat shield i don't know i have to do some more tests than that uh and i will see you within the next sort of couple of days where I'm going to start my career mode. Bye!